ship of ghouls. Just off the coast of Riverdale, an ancient horror lurks beneath the ocean. It's up to Archie and the gang to unravel a terrifying tale of greed from beyond the grave. This is no pleasure cruise. It's a ship of ghouls. and put sunscreen on my back? Sure, Ronnie. I bet your dad paid some pretty fat cash for this yacht. Mm-hmm. Reggie, um... Back off, Jughead. I'm trying to work a little of my mantle charm. So gorgeous. I'll bet it's nice being so filthy rich. Filthy? You're saying I'm filthy? You know, Mantle, there are a lot of things more valuable than money. Oh, yeah? Name one. That's easy. Friends. Speaking of which, anybody for a dive? What do you say? We can collect shells while Archie does his research. I'd rather stay here with Veronica and... Huh? What you researching, Archiekins? My next article. It's called The Underwater Masterminds. It's all about the mysterious brain coral. Maybe Andrews will find himself some brains down there. Hush, Reggie. <laughs> Bring me back a souvenir, Archikins, huh? Sure, Ronnie. I'll find you something cool. Whoa! Er, uh, uh, Ronnie? Mayonnaise? Oh, gross! Hey! That stuff goes better on burgers. Ah. 
You know just what Ronnie likes, don't you, Archigans? <laughs> I'm telling you, something or someone in that bed of seagrass was trying to get me. Like this? <laughs> oh, Archigans, it was probably just a big fish. No, this was something weird. It just gave me the creeps all over. The creeps got the creeps. Somebody is paranoid and his name starts with A. Could have been an illusion created by gas escaping that volcanic vent on the ocean floor. We were diving right along it the whole time. A volcanic vent? No, Betty. This was something else. Something really weird. Uh-oh. We better head back in before our buns get wet. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Beaumont will know where that medallion came from. Have you ever seen anything like it? Hmm, interesting. I think I have just the book you're looking for. Sorry, watch what you're doing. Whoa! You were saying? Nah. <gasps> <laughs> Maybe that medallion will give us a clue to what I saw down there. Oh no, fodder for another whacked out mystery. Oops. Uh huh? I'll start you boys a tap. feel queasy. Archie's such a sweetie. Ah! What is it? Ew! Someone's living in my souvenir. I'll have to toss him back in the water on our way out. Can I see that? Betty, don't break it. Archie gave me that. It's a key. That's what it says, a key to a royal treasure chest that was stolen by murderous pirates in the year 1700. Their ship, the treasure, and the key were lost at sea in a hurricane. <gasps> if we could find that sunken treasure, we'd be rich! <laughs> Unfortunately, the pirates were cursed by their own greed. Reggie? Oh. Guess he got spooked. What else does it say? Apparently, the pirates were forbidden from entering the afterlife. Now as malevolent ghouls, they'll roam the ocean floor, guarding their sunken treasure for all eternity. During the 1800s, this treasure was the most sought-after treasure in the world. curse kept it so well protected that all who sought it oh, perished. It's really coming down out there. Come on, girlfriend. Let's get going before we have to swim home. <gasps> I saw something. Where? <gasps> Out the window! Huh? Huh? What was it? I don't know! Eyes! Green and glowy eyes! Green and glowing eyes? Like what Archie said he saw! We've got to get out of here! Now! Ah! Come on! Quickly! Veronica Lodge, and my dad has lots of money. 
Don't you like money? I'll pay you to leave us alone! Oh yeah, when I get that treasure, I'm gonna buy a yacht just like Veronica's. And a car just like Veronica's. And a big mansion just like Veronica's. <laughs> then I'll buy Veronica. And Betty, too. <laughs> I'm gonna be so filthy, stinking, dirty rich, I'm gonna own all of Riverdale. gonna be richer than you. <laughs> Twa. Look out, Fortune 500. Here I come. of priceless golden jewels. <gasps> That's a lot of hamburgers. You don't suppose Reggie was dumb enough to go looking for that treasure himself, do you? He doesn't stand a chance. No one who sought that treasure has ever come back alive. Archie! Archie, we saw them too! Saw who? Your green-eyed ghouls! They tried to get us! They tried to take my... <gasps> My medallion! I lost it! Oh, no! Uh-oh. Let me guess. You ran into Reggie, didn't you? Veronica did. Then I ran into her, down at the marina. Mantle! Come on! Reggie's in big trouble! Someday, I'll have to find a more careful clientele. <laughs> oh. oh, no! Daddy's yacht! What are we gonna do? We'll take my yacht! Come on! You have a yacht? She's not much, but ten more payments and she's all mine! without Reggie Mantle. Boy, my life especially. Yeah, no one to tease you, or set your homework on fire, or humiliate you in public, or... Juggy, you're not helping. This isn't the usual Reggie being obnoxious thing. Something's come over him. That's right, and friends help out friends in times of trouble. Even the greedy, obnoxious ones who get themselves in mortal danger. <sighs>
gone. We need to find him. Who's coming with me? I'll stay on the boat, in case he comes back. Jughead? Oh, gee. I just ate. I could get a cramp if I swim right now. I'll come with you, Archie. comes back alive. That's a load of crumb cake. I tried to take it, and I'm still alive. Barely. We came to get you, Reggie. Now let's go. Oh, no. You just came for the treasure. Well, you can't have it. It's mine. But, Reggie, what was that? An earthquake? Unless I miss my guess, the volcanic crust around here is getting unstable. Come on. We've got to get Mental back to the surface before it's too late. know what came over me. I just couldn't resist all that treasure. It was the curse of greed. Maybe so. But if we had gotten that treasure, we would have been on easy street for the rest of eternity. Eternity, one of the many things money can't buy. <gasps> wow, would you look at that? When the treasure was destroyed, the pirate ghouls were finally released from the curse and able to leave this plane of existence and move on to the next. At least that's my theory. I think Reggie realized how close he came to being a ghoul himself and is now making a sincere, though not necessarily always effective, effort to quell his own selfish desires. 
Maybe one of these days he'll realize there's more to life than riches. In a little town called Riverdale.